Hi guys, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can provide the resources for our project in MSP. So, what is the process for the providing the resources in MSP? Let's get started. So, first you need to do, you need to just provide all tasks, provide proper duration, provide proper linkage, predecessor and successor. Okay. And after that, after that, you need to go over here. Okay. On the left side, click over here. Okay, right click and click on the resource sheet. Okay, so as you are in a resource sheet now, so for the all activity, what are the resources you require? You just need to write over here. So for me, the one engineer is required. Okay, one uh, PMO is required. Okay, let's just say one uh, uh, some mason is required. Okay, Beldar is required. Okay. Um, we can say one QS person is required, quantity server, uh, some site supervision, we can say site supervision, supervision, we can say. Okay, so these people are required. Let's see. Okay, so how we can provide the work, uh, how we can provide the task. So in the type, you can select work or material or cost. So this is a what one person going to perform one certain work. Okay. After that, there is no any material, so we are going to just hide this column, delete this column. So this is engineer, he is an engineer going to perform one certain work. If there is a cement, if there is a material, okay, then you can click over here as a material, right? Like if you are going to deal with the resources of material, then we are going to uh, dealing with the resources of the manpower, right? So engineer which is going to perform work initial is E for the understanding for providing the input in my MSP GAN chart. You can select any group, but there is no need for this group. Okay. Here we need to define the, what is the maximum hours they are going to work. Okay. So for my, this project, my engineer is going to perform 15% hours over here. My PMO project management officer is going to perform 45% of overall all his schedule. Okay, machine is going to pro going to perform 100%. All these people, these people you can see QS is up going to perform 18%. Now you can see the rate in dollar, but you can change this rate by go to the file. Okay, go to the uh, option. Okay, then here uh, there is one uh, one cost one cost column. You can in that column you can just change the all your costing. Okay, let me see first. Yeah, here. Okay. So I just selected dollar over here, but uh, you can select the rupee and everything. Okay. No need to uh, uh, like you can you can do it. it's very easy uh, with a very easy manner. It's not very not that much of very hard. You can just go in a display, just select the currency over here, whatever you want. Okay. So that is very easy. Right. So we have the dollar as a as usual common in MSP. So you can just put the cost. So for one hour, you need to provide the cost. Okay. This is cost for one hour. Okay. So I'm going to provide the, um, $10, let's say, okay. So $10 I'm going to provide for engineer for PMO. I'm going to provide the $9 here for Mason. I'm going to provide $4.5 per hour. Okay. It's very big now. Three, $3 uh, build our, uh, $2.5 QS providing $5 per hour subside supervision for $5 per hour. Okay. So overall cost you can just getting over here. Okay. That we can calculate the, you know, like whatever this, this OVT is nothing but what you can just click over here. The overtime rate. Okay. If they're performing the overtime rate, then what is, what will be the overtime rate? You can also provide. So we can say for one hour, they, they will be charged as a $3 per hour. Okay. PMO charge as a $2.5 per hour. Okay. Mason is charge one. We can just provide one, one, one to everyone. Like if they perform overtime, then this amount, they will be created. Okay. Here you can see the cost per use. Okay. That means this is not yet to provide. Okay. This is provided after some time. So just this is what our basic one. So you can see engineer, PMO, Mason, Beldar, QS and site super. Okay. Site supervision person. So we provided this much of resources. Now we need to provide these resources. We need to link these resources with our tasks. Sorry for background noise. Okay. So we need to link these resources with our tasks. Sorry for background noise. 
okay so go to here go to the can click on can chat okay you are here just resources name is a uh, column if it's not uh, visible over here so just click insert one column and write resource names okay so you can get the resources over here but we already have i'm not going to write anywhere so for excavation i need mason we can just use mason not is required actually just take mason okay then uh, comma then we need uh, or you can just click over here just click on this dar whatever is required just click we need qs we need engineer we need uh, no, we need mason just click over here whatever you want just click over here okay w what are the people you want just click you will get the overall people over here just click over here what are the resources you want so this is a way to provide the resources okay in the msp right as you provide the resources you can see the whatever the resources for a particular task you can see over here okay so this is a basic way to provide the resources in my next video i am going to deal with what how to determine the overhead resources okay or extra resources okay so i think this video helped you a lot okay have a nice day bye bye